Hey everyone, welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. We are on page of Microsoft 365 Advanced Course and uh, we have already discussed about multiple services related to Microsoft 365. And this is another session, day 5. And in day 5, I am going to help you to understand about the concept of Azure AD or Intra-Admin Dashboard. So basically, the Azure Active Directory, you can consider it as a backbone of our 365 services because with the help of Azure Active Directory services, we are able to manage lots of things. The Azure Active Directory service can help you to synchronize the users from on-premises to Azure AD. And it can also help you if you want to create a migration, like as uh, you establish your on-premises exchange server and establish multiple mailboxes. And now you are trying to migrate the mailboxes from on-premises to 365. Then again, Azure Active Directory can help you. So I'll try to give you the complete information about the theoretical part and also will give you lots of practical means uh, uh, how we can manage the Azure Active Directory services, how we can connect our Azure AD users to on-premises, synchronize on-premises Active Directory user to Azure Active Directory and we'll also give you the steps how we can migrate the services from on-premises exchange to Microsoft 365. For better understanding, let me help you with the help of diagram. So I'm moving myself to the whiteboard screen and give you the actual usage of Azure Active Directory. So basically, if we talk about the Active Directory, Azure Active Directory, now Microsoft changed the name of our Azure Active Directory. Now we need to open intra.admin.microsoft.com, right? intraadmin.microsoft.com. This is the URL that you need to type on any browser and it will redirect you on page of Azure Active Active Panel. By using this particular service, we have a multiple options, means we are able to perform lots of tasks. So let me help you to understand about the concept of intra-admin. Like this is intra-admin.microsoft.com, right? This is the URL that you can use if you want to open separately the wizard of Azure Active Directory. Then you can just type on any browser and it will redirect you on the page of Azure Active Directory. Over at Azure Active Directory dashboard, we'll find multiple options. Like Azure Active Directory can help us to manage users. It will give us option to manage groups. We are able to configure MFA, multi-factor authentication, SSPR, we are able to set up a licenses and it also give you lots of services like as a synchronization. In AD synchronization, we are able to synchronize the users that we created on on-premises. We can easily move, not move, synchronize the users to directly Azure AD portal. Now, the Azure Active Directory also connected with Microsoft admin center and by using the azure active directory panel we can also manage the services of intune and exchange admin center microsoft admin center and this is the panel of uh, microsoft intune panel or intune dashboard the same user that you created over ad azure active directory you will find the same user like we created user 1, uh, user 2 and user 3. The number of users that you created on our uh, Azure Active Directory, you can find the entire users in Microsoft uh, Admin Center that help us to assign the licenses to use our uh, Microsoft application services. As it is, you can use same user in our over on, on, on our Intune portal and by using these users, we are able to uh, enroll our on-premises guys. So guys, this is the basic information. Let me help you to understand about how it's look like. So I have already opened the Microsoft 365 panel. This is my Microsoft 365 admin portal. I'm going to click on the admin and it will redirect you on the page of Microsoft admin center, right? And after that, We'll discuss about the Azure Active Directory panel or intra admin panel. This is Microsoft 365 admin center. In the properties of our admin center, we are able to find identity, right? We just need to click on identity. 
it will redirect you on another page. You need to use same user ID and password to log in the panel of intra.microsoft.com, which is, which is considered as a uh, intra admin. Microsoft intra admin center also considered as a Azure Active Directory. Now this is the panel and in this particular panel, we are able to find lots of services as we discussed before. We have a add manage tenant and uh, users, group devices, application protection, external identities and identity governance. Lots of options are available. I'm going to click on the users. It will redirect you on another page like either all user, deleted user, and we are able to find the user's properties. If you want to create new user, we just need to click on all user. It will give you the information about the number of users that you have already created. This is the panel where we can find the number of users that we already created. And you can also create a new user. We just need to click here. You can create new user. You can create an external user means guest user account and uh, the bulk operation per user MFA. Lots of options, lots of services are available. Apart from the services, we are able to find the option that help you to en enable the uh, add on licenses. Those licenses can help you in case of uh, in tune management. So if we talk about the licenses, we just need to click on more option and uh, it will provide us an option of settings. We just need to click on no, 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 not setting click billing under the billing select licenses and it will give you the information about the number of licenses that you have already activated. In our case, we just need to click on all products. Under the all product, we are able to find two different licenses we have already activated. One is Microsoft 365 E5 license. Responsibility of E5 license can help us to uh, manage the cloud application services, Excel, Access, PowerPoint, Teams, Yammer, OneDrive, Skype for Business. So these types of services are managed by the Microsoft 365 F5 license. Enterprise Mobility and Security E5 license. Basically, this is the license that we can use to manage the Microsoft Intune services. In part of Microsoft Intune services, you can manage, uh, uh, you can enroll your on-premises device and control your device as per your requirement. Right? I hope you have idea about the Intune services. One more options are available. One more option available in the properties of license. We just need to click on try and buy. It will give you two important options. One is enterprise mo uh, mobility plus security E5. Another is Microsoft intra ID P2. Premium two license, which is considered as a P2 license. And uh, the P2 license is applicable for uh, 30 days and it will provide us uh, up to 100 licenses. The work of P2 license can help us to manage the security like uh, Definder, Microsoft Definder. And it will also help you in terms of uh, configuring SSPR service, self-service password reset. If you want to activate the SSPR service for your users, definitely the uh, P2 license can help us. And about uh, Mobility Plus Security E5, as we discussed, Mobility Plus Security E5 license can help us to manage uh, uh, what we can say that the Intune services. And if we talk about the capacity, it will provide us a 250 licenses for 90 days. Means we are able to use our uh, uh, Mobility Plus Security E5 license for the practice of uh, Microsoft Intune service enrollment. And the validity is 90 days. Means we have a huge uh, amount of licenses and huge amount of uh, validity that we can use to manage the Intune services. If you are to activate, because this is the these uh, licenses are uh, 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 you can use as a complement. So you just need to click on activate, and uh, it will give you the information. Unfortunately, activate fail to activate because I have already utilized this particular license. I have already activated the license of P2. So that's why it will give us option that uh, fail to activate enterprise mobility. You have already activated this free trial. Actually, whenever we sign up ourselves over a 365 portal, these two licenses are considered as a complement. These two licenses you can consider as a complement means uh, no need to pay any amount to utilize the services which are available in these licenses. But after end of the validity, like after 90 days or after uh, 30 days, definitely you have to pay the amount. And that's why these two licenses are considered as a 
add on licenses clear so this is the basic information about the active directory one more point just wanted to add in the active directory yes we have option to add our domain as well like you want to add a domain like in my case what i did i have already added two different types of domain so this is the panel that can help us to add a custom domain according to the name of your organization cloud support.co.in teach me cloud.net these two different domain i have already associated with my uh, microsoft 365 portal and now i am able to create a user and associate our users with the, the teach me cloud.net or cloud support.co.in right so your user or employee can mail drop a mail or send a mail uh, or receive a mail associated with this particular name of email id clear so this is the basic information our responsibility to understand about some part of groups so as per the name suggests the meaning of group which is uh, responsible to contain the multiple users two different types of groups are available two different types of groups are available that help us to manage our licenses if you want to uh, assign the same license to multiple user account then definitely uh, security group will help us another group is related to microsoft 365 group and the work of microsoft 365 group can help us to manage the services related to the like as a, what we can say that uh, the another services like uh, uh, dl distribution list shared mailbox or other mails the uh, mailboxes that we have others microsoft 365 security groups are available other 365 groups are available that, that you can use for the distribute microsoft services so guys this is all about the uh, service related to the azure active directory in next class we will discuss about the practical how we can implement the azure active directory services so let's connect in next session take care bye bye and please do subscribe here on teach me cloud youtube channel bye guys